Hello, everybody. Welcome to a wrap-up video. We are a few drinks in, preparing for another scary game squad. Spooky game team. <laughs> <laughs> That's our rivals. That's yeah. our evil They're rivals. Cross town rivals that are like richer and have better outfits. And yeah. they all have like a matching Letterman's jackets. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we need scary game squad Letterman jackets. Yeah, we and need some fucking merch, Jesse. They, they have a meow with them. He's like, That's right. Let's go leave now. Dog shit on their door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. All right, good. You gave me this look like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> He's like, oh, you want me to debase myself? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> before we did that, though, by popular demand, we decided to come back and look at some of the things that we had missed Yarp. and maybe perchance save Matt because he deserved to it. Dream. it this, this of all the games seemed like an epilogue episode would be nice. Also... I just want to point out again, we fucking yeah. nailed this game. Oh, yeah, dude. We nailed it oh, so we, we hard. So and I do did. want to point out, none of us read anything. So the people in the comments, no. we just guessed Everyone it. Everyone in the comments was like, you guys have played this before. Davis has played this before. We have never. Lit we literally no clue. said exactly the thing that we <laughs> the, read about Where Wendigo. we knew Wendigos or other things. Like, I watched the episode again, and I was like, oh, I, okay. I literally go to the Wikipedia page, and then someone was like, yeah, but dude, on the Wikipedia page, it says that there's Wendigos in this game. And I was like, not when we did it the first night this game yeah. came out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, but um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff we want to do. I will say we probably won't go back to save Indigo because no. it's looking bullshit. back at it now. Here's what happens. Either one, he dies the way he did, or two, you, bark, you blockade it or yeah. you run. Well, if you blockade it, then he lives. But the thing is, he just goes, come down here, come down here. And Indigo literally just looks at him no, and then not. walks away. And Mike's like, oh, all right, well. I'll see you around, buddy. See you around, buddy. <laughs> Which is so just, dumb. Goes, You're welcome nah, for dog. not punching you in the face. It's Goodbye. just like, it's like they could have let it, they could have let us he have it. He doesn't even have a hero moment. And in the video, you're absolutely right, Alex. He just is like, I'm just going to walk with you. He doesn't even have a moment yeah. where he jumps yeah. out and saves you. It's almost like he doesn't deserve to have a name. <laughs> Or, that, and if you're you're just, or our name, it would or be Spock. Our no, that's, yes, yeah. that's why Spock just died unceremoniously two. off camera. I didn't name Spock. Yes, you did. You sh Look, it was not my fault Spock was there. All right, right, so while I we're on this yeah, that's not I Gerard's didn't say fault. that Doc was not Spock. my fault. That's not my fault Spock died. I just want to point that out. He was I, already I, dead. I wasn't Spock. He was already dead. We didn't dead. even have a QTE chance of saving him. Hey, what happened in this story that we missed? Good idea. So I went back, and I loved playing this game so much that I went back, and I completed it. And oh. I know that's what I do. Um, Name drop. So I, I found Name a bunch drop. of stuff. We're going to be doing a Scary Game Squad completions episode on Until Dawn. It's going to be exciting. Wow. Double name drop. Double name drop. So uh, we found some fun things that we missed. First and foremost, we missed Hannah's uh, glass case. Uh, yeah. We, <gasps> we, which, here's the thing. I want to point out to everyone. What does that even mean? Exactly. What's most the point? Most people are like, you missed this and you missed this. and you missed this. 90% of these items we're about to show you. Had no effect yeah, on us. Also, we story. guessed the entire goddamn story. We didn't miss a beat. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. We missed the tattoo card, which is just the business card. Uh, of her about, tattoo. Is Again. that a real address? I'm going to say uh, I'm, I'm going to no. say maybe. Um, and then the maybe. most, the most important. It's in Canada, so no one's going to You're not running for office, Gerard. So the I'm most. Say maybe. Maybe. The most important thing that we missed was the compatibility test. All three items we just, I just showed you were found in Hannah's room. Mm -hmm. uh, you get them with Sam when the balloons appear and you're in the towel. Oh boy. Um, that was so, a good time. What? That was a good. That was, that a, good, was a great time. Remember that? I remember that. That was great. I do remember great that. Great episode. Apparently, in that episode, though, uh, Josh was walking around yes, underneath the us and There's we didn't see him. Many times in many episodes where we missed stuff, when they're doing the seance on the Ouija board and they're like, is that Beth or Hannah? In the background is the ghost. None of us noticed. Yeah. And so we don't freak out, but it's so obvious when you watch the video. And we're just like, how did we not see who that? Who should we pick? Is it's it better? like that uh, video of the guys words. passing the basketballs M and the wins. bear like moonwalks through the <laughs> the scene? Have you seen that? <laughs> no. It's like count. It's I think it's, I, I don't know what it is. It's it's like count how many times they pass the ball and literally like a bear, like like a man yes. in a bear suit. Where just is like moonwalks. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And I've what? seen that video. What? It's a video of a guy. He, it says the whole point is to count the basketball, but as you're counting the, how many times he passes it, just a dude literally in a in a bear costume just moonwalks. You just don't even notice. You don't it's even like, notice it's it. like 
It's yeah. like, great, the answer is 15, but did you see the dancing bear? <laughs> and, then it, and then it plays it back and shows the dancing bear. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what that was. So this is a this was a key item I saw someone complained about, and this is actually kind of important because it explains why Hannah got the tattoo. It's a love test from a magazine. Mostly C's. Uh-oh, this is not going to work. I assume he, it's her and Mike is she's testing. Yeah. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of a man, and Just you're like staying at home was. working on your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Give up on it, or do something like really wild. Run away from home or get a tattoo or something. There we go. Any, oh. Anything to attract his precious attention. I mean, it's for love, right? So just do it. That did explains you, the tattoo. Yeah. Did you write this line? I did not. <laughs> First of all, the other, I do want to point out, this other stuff was like kind of like bullshit, but that kind of is cool because it shows her mindset. It gives you enough backstory. Yeah, it's great. Like, yeah, it's crazy so to I think, dig out her sister and eat her. And her like butterfly tattoo was I love how, impressive. how you connected the dots of she takes magazine quizzes too. She's crazy she, enough she, to eat her she's sister. She's crazy enough to eat her sister. <laughs> Is that not what we were all thinking? No. So, I wasn't on that. I wasn't on that one. I wasn't the, on that uh, bug. <laughs> I know a thing or two about shitty writing. That's not where I was at. Uh, 1952 storyline. Is that that wasn't the? Right. We, we, only <laughs> we got a, most of. We these. got most of these. We only missed a few items. We missed uh, the miners' family photo, which was with well, Emily. Oh, uh, that's Billy Bates. Yeah. No, we 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 got that. No, we didn't. No, no, no. It, it was in the chest that we missed. No, Billy Bates. If I'm not mistaken, was he the guy? Who was on the postcard? Yeah. Yo, so it was a postcard. Okay. Billy, who has a family back home, is looking for love. Yeah, yeah. Up in Calgary. Um, oh, and so we, we learned that he's just kind of like a shitty dude. We also who missed... Who was Billy in the story? We Nobody. also missed... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we we missed uh, the first page of the journal. The journal, when uh, Ashley opens it, she opens it... Like, to the second in, page? To oh, the second page. And so uh, we just... I didn't... I didn't go to the very first page. Oh, kind of this is about the right. guy, and it says that they, their lies for saying he's dead. Yeah. Let's watch that. Let's watch that. Oh, Let's. we can't watch Hold it. On, not, yet, yet. not yet. Not yet. Uh, also, can, oh, can we put the message? Oh, uh, there is a uh, a message I found on an answering machine when we first walked in with Chris, uh, huh. just of a local police officer. The sad thing is, if, if we heard it, if we heard it, we would have told right away it was Josh. It sounded just like Josh doing like a southern accent. It you want to know so... what though? You know what's great about it though is that we didn't even hear it, and we t we found out right away that it was Josh. Well, because I... look, it says update. It was yeah. Josh's voice. Here's the problem. This game had nothing on it. There were so many comments that were like, "These sons of bitches will be intolerable." When they realized that they were right the entire time. This is basically that video. <laughs> this is, this is a neener, neener, neener. We were right. This is, neener, neener, neener. This, this, is yeah. our, this is our John Cena video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we already sing the Vindicated song? No. Nope. Because that's what I thought of was the Spider-Man. Well, we also, we also missed this. He's so Vindicated. <laughs> We we missed this one, which is a no, pretty big the other one. one. <laughs> it's a uh, business card like showing where to get like cutting supplies. Oh yeah, so this is how we got the buzz saws and the meat hooks and yeah. the pigs and all that stuff. Uh, another cool one. We missed a dead pig. I don't know how we missed that. We yeah. saw them all, so I guess it doesn't we, matter. We, yeah, it was, we already saw like, we, a worse this one. Was, we this put that together the minute we saw the head missing. Yeah. Um, what else did we miss? We missed uh, the death machine plans, <laughs> which if we had saw this. We probably would have known right away that Josh was immediately. Oh, the yeah, but we, then people wouldn't have got that fantastic rendition of Fallout Boy from us. That's true. But so. also, uh, <laughs> we knew right away anyway. Yeah, we knew it was because we're the smartest people that you've ever seen. Uh, for the people who are wondering and about the most that, uh, yeah. if you go down to the bottom and then you go all the way over to the left, the that Sam's dummy apparently is if Sam got gassed, that yes. would have been Sam. So I went back and uh, this was a cool thing that I figured out. Uh, I did a like anti scary game squad playthrough where I picked all of the opposite choices we you made. You messed up every QTE. In, yeah, you I messed punched up. the dog. Yeah, I did all that stuff. <laughs> um, and in doing so, uh, when Sam thro like uh, like when Chris shoots the crow or like sh not decides not to shoot the crow yeah. and it pisses off anger, a crow attacks Sam and gives her a scar like right above her eyebrow. And what happens is uh, it's, like, bleeding the whole throughout the whole game as Sam. But uh, there are moments where she, like, subtly, like, kind of scratches her head. And it's like, oh, I'm in pain. And, like, just very subtly as a character choice. And then in the scene where we're running from Josh in the basement and we grab the bat and we hit him with it and we start mm -hmm. running away, 
she's hiding in the elevator, right? The last QTE. Underneath him. Underneath him. She's hiding in the elevator. But when she's hiding in the elevator, her scratch is starting to scab and bleed. And she starts scratching her head. And because she did that, she didn't turn off her flashlight. And so Josh reaches down from the elevator and grabs her and gasps her. And then she shows up here instead of the dummy. Lesson, so there are subtle... don't mess with nature. Yeah. yeah. And and though yep. there there are choices like that throughout the game, but yep. that was the well, I just went whoa, because that I wanted to get the, uh, the 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 saw the the mm -hmm. saw the death plans, and I couldn't because that happened. Yeah. What else did we miss? There was a postcard. Uh oh, we also missed this. That that's what I was earlier what in that? one in one of the episodes a while back. It might have been the second to last or third to last episode when we're going around as Mike again, and I I literally just say. Keep an eye out for these symbols because it's in that book we found. And in the book, it says butterfly and then the totem symbol and then uh, the, the bow and arrow, like good hunting routes. And then it shows this like, hey, there's some bad shit here. And we never saw one of these symbols the entire game. So are in, there are more than one. There are just... there are four or five in the game that I found. This one right here specifically is the first one you find in the game. It's when we play as Jess and Mike in the mine, and Jesse and I were like, okay, we're going to go left or we're going to go right. And, and we, went, we, went, we yeah. went left, and it took us out of the of the right. mine. We should have gone right to find some key items, which we found, including this sign right here. Uh, also, uh, we found this in Hannah's room, I believe. Oh, wow. Uh, that would have explained. That we, that, see, here's the problem. But what I, would it, have explained? It just, this, it just, that means he was, no, no. like, in there. He that's was like, what the doctor had, but I'm saying, like, what, what is finding that tell us? Then. What, yeah, we would have pieced this together. All the little bits that we didn't oh, get yeah. to the very end where we were like, what is this? What is This, this would have even further spoiled us for the rest we, of the game. We, were, yeah, we, weren't, we would have we been pissed. I do want to point out, though, because watching it, we weren't sure 100%, but I think our first guess of who the guy was was Josh. Like, we guessed yeah. it was oh, Josh. Oh, we knew right away. Like, we, we knew the, the the key points, but it was the little bits in between we didn't figure out. Yeah, we thought the ghosts were real for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. The Which ghosts I want to point real. out. I want to point out. That's bullshit. There, it shows Josh putting together, like, animatronic ghosts. Where'd those animatronic ghosts go? I thought they were they, light bulbs. They, like, disappeared. I thought they were projections. The, the story says uh, this, that they were I animatronic. I think the one, there's, you open a door, and a ghost appears really quickly, and it goes away. I think that was a projection. But they clearly have an animatronic walking and pointing and doing stuff. But I'm saying, where's that right. ghost go? But that doesn't make sense that they writing. show him putting it together and moving arms and stuff. Also, what what does that? Like, we're, I think we talked about that. What technology nowadays can you just throw that shit together? You know, Disneyland. movie technology. He learned it from his producer dad. You know, movie his dad, so, is a, his dad is a movie I, uh, producer. I think that's it for this. He's not a prop I, master. There was <laughs> one item. I don't know where it is. Uh, I can't seem to find it. But, uh, oh, there it is. The cigar stub. So remember we were like, oh we were man, what, this what the hell? Was. The point of the what's the point of the cigar? Gotcha. It's to point out that the dude the, has been around. No, no, the cigar brand is of uh, the I think it belongs to. It's a Native American thing. Yeah, it's a Native American thing, and so every cigar is a Native. But we already American pointed thing. that out, what right? That? But it's it's like supposed to tie them together. Like you find this cigar yeah, stuff. Basically, all this is is like loop. tying story oh, bits together. Oh, yeah. supposed yeah. to. Okay, it was like yeah, because we it's found not necessary for the overall. Yeah, this yeah. is just. So I found a few totems. Um, we can Great. check this out. Ooh, so that shit. that's Sam's death at the very end of the game. So her, Sam moves. Her only death in the game. She can only die at, at the, the very, very end. Very of the end. end. Yeah. Damn. So that's her totem. So if she moves, she gets her head ripped off. That's Actually, awful. no. She gets stabbed. Oh. It sticks. I her head ripped off. It sticks her whole its whole hand through her stomach. That's and awesome. And then removes it. Hand, um, you got issues. And then this right here, which we should have found, was us uh, consoling Indigo as opposed to hitting him. A dog's we name missed that. is Flamethrower Dog. It's not. No, it's Indigo, dude. That's what happens if you don't save Jess. If we don't keep up with her. She's jawless? She yeah, gets, she yeah her jaw's gone and she gets dropped from a high rafter her down jaw's below. jaw's gone? Yeah, yeah. because it kills her. So, yeah, oh, yeah, what, do you mean, what do you mean it deal. kills her? That's, no, no, it no, eats so, people. No, job no, so what happens is if we uh, hadn't run at full steam after her in that scene and just taken the like slow path and been safe, Yeah. She would have died. I read so when we got there, she, instead of her being like, "Um, I'm hurt," she would have there would have been dropped. no one there, and she would yeah. have fallen down and have a missing jaw and been dead. And so, appa apparently, online I was reading a lot of people claim that like that segment is one of the hardest segments in the game, and apparently we just fucking beast moded and did it in 
That's because we in, believed. We believed we believe. in Mike's I, power. You, dude, look, we we fought in the beginning, and I think Matt would have survived had we yeah, not. We believed but, in his power. But you're right. Playing the characters, I'm trying to think of a, a, a time where playing the characters didn't work out for us. Never. Never. It, it was, was when we put our own like foopiness. So on it that it got there were weird. three more that we that we didn't look at in our main. Oh, uh, let's see. Room. Wasn't that, that one? Was, nope. Oh. We got that one. How wrong? No, it was the flare gun. No, we saw. This no, one. we saw. Did remember, we? we like immediately. Oh, gave speaking it. of flare gun, if you had now, I replayed this game over and over and over again. I never once got to this scene. Yeah. What? There's the fingers. <laughs> Ow. Uh, that part is really gruesome. Uh, you chose that on purpose? I chose it on purpose, and if you don't have the machete, he just rips his hand off, which is what we're seeing here. If he has the machete, the machete breaks, and it lets him keep one of his fingers, but one of them gets cut off. Oh, good. And then later on in the game, when we're at uh, Indigo's passing, you don't have, uh, you don't have the machete, passing. and so it like hits Mike. Hmm. Indigo's passing. No, nope, that's the bird. No, it Let's wasn't there. Here. I think it was. We were missing two from red. So all of the all the flame scenes, that. all the flame scenes, we were like, okay, no flame for Emily. Any of that it's stuff. Probably the very end. It was the very explosion. very end of the explosion. Because apparently, what you can do is even if everyone survives, if you what set the hell is that? This that one Chris? we did not have. This is uh, Josh's death. So if we don't find the journal at the end of the game when we're like in the oh Hannah's journal, Hannah's journal. Uh, he doesn't know it's Hannah, and so he doesn't say Hannah's name, and because Hannah doesn't realize it's her brother, she just fucking comes up and squishes his head. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer that his good ending is him turning into a Wendigo. Oh, Jesus. That is clearly... Oh, it's a, is it a rock? It's yeah. A, yeah, it's a Wendigo beating his face in. Poor Matt. Matt has so many gruesome deaths. That scene happens if you op if we decided to go check out the sound. Oh, and that was Ashley. That was Ashley. We thought that, that was literally everyone but yeah. Ashley. It was Ashley when she goes to so open like the Jess. trap door. Play it again. No, it's Ashley. It's Ashley. It clearly is. Oh yeah. We just weren't thinking about it. Straight at the time. That's what happens. We saw that one. That's Emily dying in the house. So yeah, at the end, even if you save everyone, if you set off <laughs> that, if still you flip the that switch as, as Mike, it kills everyone. It's just a rough punch. It's warning us about the deer. That is like the only deer sound that exists in the world. <laughs> it's like we, we, never, we never saw that. Uh, yep, we saw that. That's yeah. the end of the game. We saw that one too. That one too. That's us not moving. Uh, House burning down with everyone getting up. Yep. Him being yeah, we've seen that. Yeah, not knowing what to do. Making, uh, saw that. Choice. Okay, so I want to tell you guys about this scene. So we see this scene, right, where Chris runs in and she lets him inside. So when we got into that big argument where we said, where you got, you said, shoot Chris, you guys said, shoot her. And I said, we're not shooting anyone. I don't know if that's what happened, but we'll, we'll I rewatched it. Watch I rewatched it. it. Alex was like, fuck it. Let's kill her. I stand by it. You said, you said, kill him because to be the good guy going down swinging. And I said, kill no one. Wait, what did I say? I said, kill what I said. Uh, you ended up agreeing with me. And so we did nothing and we sang Fallout Boy gloriously. Yes. And so that I was, that I haven't gotten to that part yet. That, that was, part. that was I, the I best choice we decided to do because if we decided to shoot uh, Ashley, Ashley, the rest of the game is pissed off at Chris. And so when Chris gets brave to go out with the flamethrower guy to kill the Wendigo saving Josh, as she as he's leaving to go outside, she like shakes her head at him and slams the door. And then when he's running back inside of the house and she opens the door like so, instead of doing it, she leaves the door locked and cold, mag dogs him down. Cold. Blooded. And he goes, what are you doing? Open the door. And she just shakes her head. And then the Wendigo rips his head off and throws it. And then Mike runs over like, no, what did you do? And she literally keeps saying, she just keeps saying over and over again, he was already dead. No. He was already dead. Just in cold fucking blood. If, God. You, if you go back to God the, damn. If you go back to the, the totem where uh, Emily hands Matt the flare gun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the game, had we not been so worried about trying to get I'm that sorry. Really working, I'm sorry. I'll own up to it. It's my fault. Anyway, I only cracked the major mystery of this game. I think it's in the second <laughs> row. Guidance? Yeah. But uh, so yeah. so what happens is because we gave in so much to her. We also, by the way, remember when they fired it off? We we're like, oh, that's it. That's great. We just saved everybody. Yeah, that's, just that's, saved right. yeah. that's it. Yeah. But, Game but over, so man. what happens is 
if we hadn't been such a pushover, he would have instead fired it, just pocketed it. And that scene where the, the monster grabs him, he could have used the flare gun to shoot it in the So face. if he had the flare That's gun, like it would have saved bat, him. That's like his baseball bat, like his... Yeah. So yeah. But because he fired it off, there was nothing that he could use. So we had actually had a chance to save his ass, but well, because, because we, we fucked up their so, relationship. Yeah. yeah. And so I think what we should do is we should I'm not really sure confront we right away. Relationship. That was we a should bad play the events of the past, but then we should go back and just because we need to, just jump away. So and leave her. Just Be like, yeah, like a, let's have that. Just yes. leave her. Just yes, I am see. down for that. So we have the events of the past. We got this video from getting all the totems. Yeah, we can finally watch the full yes. thing. Yes, we so need here to see we go. This. Many years ago, my grandfather hunted those possessed by the curse. But there was one that eluded him. The fiercest of all, the Makapichu. It was a terrible thing. And my grandfather could not defeat it. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave-in trapped the men and woke the curse again. And there were dozens of men, no food, no light. And in that blackness, the hunger came. They were consumed by their abominable cravings and driven mad murderers. Animals eating human flesh. And if you kill this monstrous thing, the spirit is released and swirls the mountain like an evil wind waiting to possess again. You best not kill them, I have tried. You can only trap them, taunt them with fire. And after all these years, after many moons and many hunts, the Makapichu still roam free out of my grasp, beyond my reach. Until one night, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in my sights. But we were not alone in the woods that night. While I was tracking the Makapichu, it was tracking something else. The Makapichu forced your friends over the mountain. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't save your friends, but I could avenge them. I hunted the wind to go down, and I doused it with fire. And the Makapichu was dead. So, Hannah was the Makapichu. Is that why Hannah was against the other Wendigos at the end, where we're like, why are they like Matrix fighting? I, I don't think she was in the house, was she? Yeah, no, that was that was, was Hannah and then two others who were the miners. That's possible. The question that I have, Hannah was the only per was the first person to become a Wendigo and really the only person since he killed the Makapitu, the like Omega of Omega, the Wendigos. Yeah, yeah. So that would make sense. Like he specifically like I killed it. So like, doesn't that not make sense? Why like she became the biggest meanest one it, it does the thing that i'm wondering about is alex said many times like we killed them we probably shouldn't have killed them i feel like watching that i kind of agree now yeah that we really all those times we killed them we really did nothing we were just doing we sequel nothing. we were just doing sequel work we were just yeah. making their be we're just more setting it up for the sequel we, i mean we, we got mike out that's that's all i care about that's all that i care so about so now should we go back and save mike let's go back matt. and meet matt or matt so here's the thing, in order for us to like get to the ending with Matt, which we're not gonna do, we'd have to replay everything from chapter six on I just wanted to Actually, survive earlier, that scene. In order to get every Mike and Emily scene, we have to play it from the beginning. That's Matt, true. Matt and Emily. But we're only we're only gonna play <laughs> we'll never get, We're we're gonna basically play from We're just gonna try and get him to live. We're gonna try and get him to live at the point where he died for us last time, and maybe we can get some more closure on Emily. There is, we did have that option to be like, tell me about what happened between you and Matt. So in this Mike. case, in, I know, it's <laughs> Matt and Mike, I keep switching them. So in this case, we're going to play the role of asshole Matt and see what happens. Let's do it. Let's go full asshole. Ignore the, um, the flare, the flare for now. Okay. Thank you for reading my mind. Yeah. Go just turn on the power. Okay. I want to. I want to test something. I want to see something. Yes. Flip that switch, homie. Yeah, here we go. Nice work. Okay, four one for Matt and Emily. 
All right, now go over to the flare. Okay. Let's see if he shoots it off now that the power's back. Oh, was your thought that he fired it off as, like, just because well, there's no other... Well, from what I've seen online, he fires it off if your relationship is shitty or not. But I've never seen... Oh. With it, the power on. With the power on first, because maybe he won't do it. Give it to Matt. So, uh, everyone at home, I turned on the options to everyone else did. So 75% of people did it like this. No, no. Yeah, he still yeah, does it so anyway. He still does oh, it anyway. Matt. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. So no matter what, he does it anyway. So wait, that effect. So we can go look at the butterfly effect of like what it says. Maybe it'll give us some insight into like. It'll probably just tell us what he. Did. It just says that Matt doesn't. I, I watched it before we started recording. It's, it says that Matt doesn't have the flare gun anymore because he used it. I see. Which is really ominous if you don't know it. So yeah, it really has to do with the relationship. Yeah. It isn't just the lights. I see. So this game, things matter more than they would outwardly appear. So obviously we have that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that you really have to like plan well, he ahead. Hearing from and you think way down the line. And it is butterfly effect kind of. Well what's what's cool it's is a, I, a little bit of hat truths. Well honest. I was yeah. like kinda like red herrings and bullshits, but it sounds like they just be there's a lot of things that change that they don't tell you. It like asks right. of you to play through it again Hello? and in hindsight I have a greater appreciation for it. And one of the things I think is really interesting is again, all the stuff with Chris and Ashley no matter what, they would never have died oh in those choices. Like, the multiple times when help, they had the please. buzzsaw going towards either Josh or Ashley. It still goes over to it's Josh. It still, no matter what, goes to Josh. Even if you pick Ashley, except she now hates you more. And yeah. at the time, you're like, oh, well, good, I saved her. But again, going back to that scene with the door, she just shut it in your face and Chris dies. And that's, yeah. that's several hours into the game that you get the payback for treating Ashley so bad. Right, but Which we I think knew, is kind of cool. But we also knew from the get-go, too, that Chris and Ashley were destined for each other. And so we, look, I, we knew. We knew <laughs> Ashley was our girl, except for Davis, who multiple times wanted to kill so, her. So, okay, first, first, first of all, yes. <laughs> we first of all, oh sorry. You know. <laughs> it's okay. No one's perfect. I'm not judgy. I got emotional. I also was drinking a lot. Dude, I'm drinking a lot right now. Yeah, we all can agree that Emily should die. Can we do the opposite of what everyone says? Can we do persist? Yeah. What happens oh here? Oh my god, please! Oh my god, we're gonna die up here if you don't just get us! There's a maniac, don't you understand? To my knowledge, nothing changes. There has to be something. Something tricked the motion sensor. Probably a fucking deer. Hurry in, you ma'am. Please do not leave your position. We'll send out helicopters to get you as soon as the storm has subsided. Over. What? When? How long? Yeah, this is the exact same. Exact same. And then we we all also missed the until dawn oh my God, thing there. Roll oh credits. He's coming dawn. for me. Yeah, we always thought that was weird. He's coming for me. Yeah, I guess it's like, psychopath, right? Well, it's just because that that she's be she like yeah. a, a pretty textbook narcissist. I like how the the Wendigo is a shadow puppet. And then we were like, that's a Wendigo arm. Click. Clearly, how could it think? It's so thin. It actually looks like Kermit the Frog's arm. Yeah, right. Like it's, that's gonna be the smallest Wendigo we've seen. If he starts singing time. about rainbows, we get a problem. Now come near so me. Songs about my brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wendigo on the other scene. Oh. oh. Can we save her again. Here's okay. the question. Okay, so when is the time to jump off? Right. No, we'll, we'll show you. We'll show you when we get there. Okay, you're so trained in this now. You already... For people who can't see him, Gerard is hardly paying attention. He's, <laughs> one, he's one handing this. I replayed this game three and a half times. Shit! This game's great. Yeah, this is a really fantastic I, like, game. It's, it's like sat with me really well. And I've like... Yeah. yeah I've this been, reminds well, me of when they first announced... Um, Oh God! What's Nathan Drake? Help me out here. Uncharted. Uncharted, Uncharted Two. When Uncharted Two came out, and they when had he's all those climbing. Games. But when they had all those commercials that were like, "This is the game you play with your girlfriend to get her into gaming," like, right? Yeah. I would say that about this too. If you had someone who wasn't very into gaming, this is a great. Play this with them, and they quickly. This come is to my love first date game. Right, guys, where I also here we go. To learn about the first Everyone, pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> Our moment for you, buddy. 
We're gonna rectify the wrong. We're gonna save you, bud. I'm so sorry, Matt. I'm so sorry. For calling you Mike all those times. I never called him that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't, because my name is Mike. So I don't mistake those two. You did it just a minute ago. No, I corrected all of you guys. Oh, okay. It's the opposite. I was thinking. All right, here we go. All right. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. Oh, so you can see what people have said. Everyone agree with us, supportive. Go full Fuck suspicious. Her. Suspicious. I saw you with Mike. Suspicious. Is that why you still like Mike? He's a thinker. Matt, I don't. Persistent. What's Super going persistent. on? Wow. I saw you with him. Christ, Matt, we were just talking. Oh my God, this is not the time. Tell me what's going on, Bish. Just tell me what's going on. Nothing, Matt. No. Just admit it. Um. I, I was confused. Oh. So you fucked him. Oh my Please. God. Matt, I'm sorry. Now, will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, 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 Matt. Just do something. Jump. Get that. Jump to save. Jump to save. <laughs> Matt, Jesus! I'm just trying to find the safest way to get to you. You idiot, just get me out of oh, here! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was so <laughs> therapeutic! <laughs> that was so that was like, that was oh. like <laughs> And... That was like Buster Ladies Keaton. and gentlemen... He lives. He lives. So, he comes back in the game. We never play as him ever again until Jess is wandering the uh, the mines. That was a loading scene. All right, interesting. <laughs> that was like Buster Keaton. That was I insane. I, <laughs> that, I thought there was going to be more, but it was like, either. nope, fuck you. So, so the next also, time we see him is later you get on. To, you get to place him again when he dies. You like wake up in that area and you walk around for a second before you get killed. No, not not no. here. Not in this case. No. no, no, I know. I'm saying it's interesting because you do in the other way when he dies. Oh yeah, yeah. You get to like walk for you a walk second. A little, yeah. yeah, you get to play yeah. a little bit more. Kind of fucked up, but they yeah. made like a whole place just so he could die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's... so so when we get back to Jess, where she's all freaking out, uh, Matt's there. Matt's there. Matt, you play as Matt first, and as you play as Matt, you get a QTE event for something flying at you, mm -hmm. and it's Jess attacking you with a shovel. Here's the crazy thing: that scene where Jess wakes up and then puts on a jacket and nothing happens. Yeah, it is a little weird that nothing happens there, and it's probably because Matt's she dead. Doesn't run into exactly. Matt. Exactly. Yeah. Well, there, there we go. We've basically done everything there is to do. Did yeah. we talk about so, the run button? What's that? What about it? We knew it was there. Did we? Yeah. Did, did we? I've been using it the whole game, guys. Wait, that's run? Yeah. There is I no run button. This is, this is it. Everyone was like, use the run button. If I've that's been the run using button, the run I'm button. Done. I'm just... Did everyone literally, as, did everyone grill me for not using the run button? The random yeah. people were telling oh, me. Oh like, my uh, god. I used it the whole effing game, guys. <laughs> did that just happen? I feel like we've all learned I just want to play like lessons. Like, I feel great. Yeah. Like, I, feel, I feel great. That, the minute, the, oh. he's just like, oh, dead. Like, she well, goes, a lot. Ah, and falls as he just jumps. Guys, remember when we saved all the kids and we did a perfect playthrough of this game? I, I do, do now. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just High noticed. Fives. High fives all around. Check this out. Check High this out, guys. We could actually control her eye movement and face movement. I did not know that. Mario 64. Hello. I'm so da, 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 I'm so da, da, da. out. Hello. Oh yes, we found out that this in the opening credits. If we go back, we were mesmerized that there's Steinman. a there's a woman named Galadriel Steinman. This is that character. Oh my god. Also, and I don't know if it's relevant or not, but the the actual actress that played Jess, very attractive. I would say her actual actress is more attractive. Yeah, they. they I, mean, I would say this actress is the the disparity between in game attractiveness and real life attractiveness is greater with this one. But Jess is. Mm -hmm. But here's here's what I think is great. <laughs> Alex, Alex, please please tell everyone what you said about Galadriel Steinman. Well, I'm t I'm Team Galadriel, obviously, because she hits all my all my uh, like hot girl fetishes. She's named after Lord of the Rings character. She's a redhead and she's a Jew. It's perfect. It's perfect. Strike it's strike three. You're in. I mean, I love that the entire time we're talking over this, she's losing her. <laughs> 
Uh, I also learned too, just to give you guys uh, an update. If we chose, like, in the playthrough that I chose, I chose to be terrified of crows. Uh huh. So like, there were just more crows in the game. <laughs> That's like all it was. What like, I chose scared? cockroach. We chose so what, like spiders? Oh, I saw is that because all those cockroaches camera? every time we? Yeah. That's silly. Uh, the scarecrow, uh, the mask. That's in the in it's the. Not uh, a clown. In the yeah, it's not a clown. It's a scarecrow. Um, well, it's a zombie. What was the zombie one? It was like, are you more afraid of clowns or zombies? Yeah, it's the same thing. Where like, it. I figured we figured that's what they were doing to you. Yeah. yeah. But we must I, have said something. This is a fantastic it. game, and I like I Loved said, it. if you ever had to have a moment where it was like, I need to play a video game with someone who hates video games. This is the one. Anyway, that's it for us. Um, I would say that there are layers to our next. Scary Game Squad, and oh. you should be afeard of it. <laughs> be very afeard. Very afeard. Jesse needs more Evan Williams. All right, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> to be continued. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're going to take you to the future. Then we're going to get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're going to take you to the future. Then we're going to get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, Arrow Spore. Me, Jessica, the number one out of the plan. The bee, please, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I'll make like a fortune for my ass for Shut the balls up. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're going to take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future We're gonna take you to the future Then we're gonna get to the future Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>